Hey, welcome to Engineer's Workshop. It's kind of a hot and muggy summer day. So I got a little bit of a different video for you today. No, no machining content. And normally people like to see when people add machines to the shop. Well, I'm going in the other direction. I'm actually selling some things. Um, not that I'm trying to downsize or anything, believe me, because I still want to fill this shop up, make it an awesome, you know, metalworking slash fabrication shop. It really, it, I want to be able to do anything. I want to have a woodworking section over there, um, machining, uh, you know, lathes, the mill, the K&T over here, uh, metal prep, probably in this area or at the far end, and fabrication, got the, you know, the big overhead hoist. So I got a lot of uh, good bones to build on, but, there's also a couple things I want to get, and frankly, right now, the issue is money and time. So things that I don't see, uh, foresee myself working on in the near term, I'm going to let them go. Uh, hopefully someone can make better use of them and uh, put that money towards other pieces of equipment that I would rather have more of an immediate use for. And let's start off with something that... Um, kind of near and dear to my heart, but uh, I've made the decision that it's gonna go, and that's the Miltronics Partner 4. I really hate seeing the Miltronics go. Um, this thing has been in storage for a lot of its life, and I haven't even cleaned it off yet, but it's got uh, a coolant collection pan. The table, there's not a mark on it, and the ways are in fantastic condition. It's got the roller way covers, but uh, everything moves freely. Um, you know, I've had the gear cover off um, and I've spun the drive belt from the drive motor and everything moves freely. Knee moves up and down smoothly. We've got a Cat 40 uh, spindle this is a five horsepower mill with a back gear. And so this thing, this thing is uh, like 60 to 4,000 RPM. It's got the coolant system. Uh, it's got a Bezier uh, coolant system. It is really, really a nice mill. Now, the electronics are not functional, but it's basically all there. This is a Centurion 5 controller. From what I can tell, the CRT is dead. So I went ahead and I bought an old um, flat screen here with a, this, this CRT just has a VGA input and I got a VGA input flat screen that we could mount in there. <laughs> this is really heavy because this is an old tube with you know the flyback coils and everything. Um, and then the panels inside, from what I can tell, there is one axis board that is missing. It has two, it has a, it has a Y and a Z, um, and I believe the, the X axis is missing. So there's five inches of spindle travel. There's like 32 inches of X travel, 18 Y and manual 18 uh, Z. There's a really nice VFD that is mounted uh, on another cabinet. I'll show you some of these from the original pictures when I unloaded it. But um, yeah, this guy's gotta go. And I don't have a price on it. I mean, I want someone to be able to use it. So make me a reasonable offer on the thing. I mean, you know, if I were gonna buy a mill mechanically and uh, precision wise, this thing has not seen a lot of use, and I'm sure that you know you wouldn't have to recondition anything on this as far as you know ball screw wear and everything. I might be able to check that over the next few weeks. But uh, if you know how to do a, a drive retrofit for more modern uh, uh, CNC controls, man, this would be awesome bones to make that change for. So that's the that's the big item, and like I said, it's got to go. It's got to go to a good home. Table saw is gonna sell. I'm not quite ready to sell yet. I want to put it back together and demonstrate this guy. But that's gotta to go to a new home. The rest of it is here. What else do we have? We have a unit heater, a natural gas fired unit heater, about 240,000 BTUs. 
also basically almost never used. I mean, you look at the flu passages in this thing and uh, very little use on that guy. So I'll get you the specs on that. The other thing that's selling is this uh, Rockwell Delta 12 14 inch metal cutting chop saw. And uh, this thing is in really good shape too. Um, it's on uh, a stand with casters. It's a little spindly to be rolling it around on casters. I might take those off, but uh, uh, two or three horse motor, three phase. And the nice thing about this, if you do a lot of miter cuts, I mean, this thing will miter at least to 45. It might actually go uh, more than 45 in either direction, a little bit more, so you can tweak that, uh, that angle. It doesn't bevel, but it does, it does miter cut. And it has all cast iron, cast iron shoot for the sparks. My son would like to get 450 for this, but uh, you know, hey, we'll, we'll sell what the market will accept. I've got a couple of brand new cutoff wheels with this. So very neat saw, we just don't end up using it much. We got uh, two power hack saws that we use and uh, you know, it's redundant right now. So that's where we're at. We got to get rid of a few things, not so much for space, but for projects that we're you know, not realistically gonna uh, work on in the near term. And if these things can go to a home where somebody's going to be able to put them to use immediately, hey, great. I have a three-ton overhead hoist where I could load the uh, Miltronics into a bed of a pickup truck uh, or a trailer if it's not too big. Can't get a big gooseneck in here, you know, 25-foot gooseneck trailer. But uh, I can get a, you know, because I can maneuver a trailer with the tractor. We could put it on a little flatbed. That goes 4,200 pounds. Um, so, you know, it, 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 it's not a, not a lightweight by any means and it does stand up kind of tall. So I brought it home in a, just a heavy duty, you know, uh, flatbed trailer with, with ramps for hauling, uh, tractors or skid steers. And it traveled just fine on that behind, uh, you know, Toyota, uh, Tacoma. So it's not super heavy, but, uh, sorry, very sorry to see it go, but I would like to see it go to a good home and in its place, I would love to see this Enterprise sawmill, which I went and looked at, which was an absolute beast, but the price was right. Uh, it's, a, it's eight hours away, but I might, uh, if I can get you know, that guy sold, I might be able to get the Enterprise sawmill uh, coming, coming into this shop. And I would much rather be working on that short term and start making some beams for line shaft hangers and stuff like that. So. That's the video for today, uh, for this week. Selling, I'm selling, so come do some buying. Um, located in uh, central Virginia, outside of Richmond. Um, pretty convenient for people down you know, in Georgia or up in New York, uh, as far as Kentucky, Tennessee. You know, we're within a, a one day's drive, so uh, if you're a West Coaster, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, kinda out of luck for, for this. So, um, Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Put the word out, try to share this with as many people as you can. To, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to see someone, uh, you know, especially buy that Miltronics and give that thing a good home, maybe rehab it, put some new uh, drives on it. And um, it's gonna be a heck of a mill. You know, five horse uh, thing has got like, I don't know, 100 inch uh, travel speed on the table. So it could, it could do some serious milling for somebody. Um, that's it for now. I'll let you guys go. Uh, Till next time, as always, from Engineers Workshop, stay safe and uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Take care.